Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons with me, Oaksville. For a second I forgot which game I was actually playing. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go into the boss room, and let's, let's go. Now the reason bombs are so useful is because, first of all, you can throw them. Well, I missed him that time. First of all, you can throw him. Will you hit him? This guy, unfortunately, unlike the very first monster in Legend of, the original Legend of Zelda, which, see if you can actually tell which mon which boss this is like in Legend of Zelda. It's like the very first boss in Legend of Zelda. Uh, you gotta hit his horn and all, but anyway, unlike the very first boss in that game, he moves, he charges, he flies, and you know, ground pound, but just use bo bombs and hit his horn, and it's, I usually find it easier, but for some reason right now I'm not able to hit his horn. Come on. Damn it. Thing with the sword is that it takes quite a few hits. Thing with bombs, it only takes three bombs to kill him. And I'm not very good at dodging this guy with a Wiimote. But anyway, we killed him, so not that big of a deal. We get our first heart container! But yeah, if you use three bombs, that guy's taken out right away. And I usually find it easier than using the sword because you can actually throw the bombs. But anyway, you've got the fertile soil! An essence of nature! Seeds scattered across bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. Awesome. Huh, could this be the Deku Tree? I see, or Maku Tree. I keep mixing that up. Ah. Anyway. Ooh, it's me, the Maku Tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me, too. <laughs> I already feel stronger. Oh, in my dreams, I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land I do not know. There, I saw a precious item that will aid you, Alex. That is all I can see now. Oh, hmm. Alright, now, the thing with the Ember Seeds is something I'm going to show you right now. Oh, we actually get to meet one of my favorite characters in this entire game. Well, that's what you can do. But anyway, before we get going, this is the Great Witch Maple. But before we get it to doing any of this, just listen to this music. This is one of the reasons I just fell in love with this character, because of the music. It's just... I love it. Um, but anyway. Oh, I gotta think of good voice for her. Because I love this character so much. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going! You just hit Maple! The Great Witch Syrup's Apprentice! Thanks to you, all the stuff fell out of my bag! The Great Witch will be mad! I can't find any lawn line eggs! Remember that, it's in red! And now this. I'll just take the stuff you drop too. Finders keepers. So basically, it's just a mad rush to get stuff before she does. And if you can, God, you all remember this. Basically, if you can, <laughs> she just gets mad at you. But if you can't, not that big of a deal either. But unfortunately, she can't actually take health away from you. As you saw, I had to actually steal back two of my hearts. She do can take quite a few bit of rupees if you have a lot. Like, say you're carrying 300 rupees or something, she bumps into you. You're probably going to drop about 100 or so. So you got to be quick on your toes. But anyway. Shh, don't tell. Now these guys are weird. Because you've got some that'll give you like, oh, here's 100 rupees. Here's 300 rupees. Then you've got some that'll be like, oh, hey, thanks for paying to fix my door. And they'll take, like, 50 rupees. Or 30 rupees. But anyway, um... But I'm gonna go through all of them. Regardless. But anyway... You've got a Gasha Nut! Look at Link right there with his... 
ears flapping all over the place. Anyway, you got a Gashin nut. Check what's inside. A ring was inside. And we're gonna go to Vashu and get those appraised. And look out for the fireball. Oh god, I hate the Zora in these kinds of games. In the top-down ones, because they're just... Oh, they're so annoying. But anyway. Uh, there is another one up here? It's one of these. Isn't it? No? Okay, I thought I thought there was a hidden stairway up there. But anyway, gash nut, gash nut, gash nut. You got a gash nut. Check what's inside. Present time, present time. Open the present. See what's inside. A ring was inside. So we now have three rings for Vashu to appraise. And we can get our first heart container. Oh my god! Piece of heart. Sorry, not first heart container. First piece of heart. Yeah, we already got our first heart container. Same thing, collect four. It's not like Twilight Princess where you have to collect five of them. Um, now before we go and do anything else, I need to talk to... Bashu! Now what voice did I do for this guy? Do come in! Welcome to Vasu Jewelers! What can I do for you? A praise. It's 20 rupees! Hmm, I see, I call this one the Discovery Ring. Send Soft Earth nearby. That's what that ring is, I'll add it to your list. Basically, it'll act as the compass, it'll give you that, like, ding ding noise whenever you go onto a screen that has soft soil. It's 20 rupees, even if it's, like, even if you have to dig for it or cut grass or something. Hmm, I see, I call this the Green Holy Ring. No damage from electricity. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. Now, that's actually a really useful one, because there are those electric guys, I can never remember what they ca they're called, but they look like the green thumb sticking up with the four legs. Hmm, I see. I call this one the quicksand ring. No sinking in quicksand. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. That'll actually come in very handy as well, um, a little later on. Rings do nothing unless worn. Do come in. Welcome to Vassar Jewelers. What can I do? Cannot remember his name and what he did for the little life of me, because I'm not doing this... I'm not doing this separately. I'm recording, like, four videos right now. And we're actually going to take the Green Holy Ring for now, because I believe we do run into a couple of those on the way out. And it's just going to be handy. Uh, let's go equip it right now. There's no sense to not equip it, and I didn't want to actually take off the shield, because there's another something we can do down here! Alright, now, you will find trees around here that will bloom in certain seasons. Like, this will give you ember seeds, I believe, in spring? It might be fall, actually. Um, but before we do anything, we are actually going to light this guy's fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Splendid! I can finally focus. Here, take this Kukadex. Hmm, seems to me that someone was looking for this Kukadex. It's the result of many years of Kuku research. But anyway, if you remember... Seems Ta uh, Melon was looking for the Kukadex because her father Talon had gone up the mountain. My books tell me there is a beast that eats shields. Yes, we have to deal with uh, like likes as well in this game. But anyway, this is what I was thinking of this stairway. We go up, and maybe we'll get another prize from this guy. Nope. Oh. I could have sworn this was actually the guy that was like, Oh, thanks for thanks for paying to fix my door. But I guess not. Unless they randomly do it. I don't know. Well, we'll find out later, won't we? Hey there, guy. How are you doing? What do you have to say? The world seems so vast here in Horon Village. The seasons have all run amok. I wonder if it's the same in other lands. What else has been going on with my life, though? Oh, some fun things. Um, actually, well, okay, you, you guys haven't changed. Yeah, basically, he'll stop running around when there's something else to do with Link. But, is there anything else to buy in here? Nope. Alright, we're gonna move on, then. Next part. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, wait, that's right. There is something different. That's right, this guy. Wait, young traveler! I am a wandering prophet, Sokra! 
You sure it's not Sokka? Are you sure you're not going to take out your boomerang and try to throw it at something? Boomerang, you came back to me! Ah, I feel it! Spring, summer, autumn, winter, the four spirits are calling you! Make no mistake, the Temple of Seasons is still hidden in this world. If you can find the temple, then pay a visit to the spirits who live there. Surely they can help. Farewell! Maybe I should make him like Maximilian Pegasus instead. You, you boy! The Temple of S I can't do what Maximilian Pegasus voice for the life of me, though. Now, as you can see, we can go south, but we're not going to be going that way because that's a little bit of a thing that we don't have to worry about. Because we have the Song of Storms! Wow, I'm just going off on random tangents. But yeah, Song of Storms, because actually this is the base of the windmill that... If we go up north by... Oh, if we don't get hit... If we go up north by one square, we'll see the... Guy from Majora's Mask and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, my favorite guy in all of those, because he's just so crazy. Um, yeah, he's right up there, so... <laughs> We get to do a little thing for him later. Oh, I completely forgot. We gotta go do that Kukadex thing. Oh, but we're kind of running out of time, so I'm gonna see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Oxfoo. Take it easy, guys.